subjection to the higher authorities for there is no authority except from god and those who exist are ordained by god therefore he who resists the authority withstands the ordinance of god and those who withstand will receive to themselves judgment for rulers are not a terror to the good work but to the evil do you desire to have no fear of the authority do that which is good and you will have praise from the same for he is a servant of god to do you for good but if you do that which is evil be afraid for he doesn't bear the sword in vain for he is a servant of god an avenger for wrath to him who does evil therefore you need to be in subjection not only because of the wrath but also for conscience sake for this reason you also pay taxes for they are servants of god's service attending continually on this very thing therefore give everyone what you owe if you owe taxes pay taxes if customs then customs if respect then respect if honor then honor Owe no one anything except to love one another, for he who loves his neighbor has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there are, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love doesn't harm a neighbor. Love, therefore, is the fulfillment of the law. Do this knowing the time, that it is already time for you to awaken out of sleep, for salvation is now nearer to us than when we first believed. The night is far gone, and the day is near. Let's therefore throw off the deeds of darkness, and let's put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and lustful acts, and not in strife and jealousy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh, for its lusts.